so it's finally the weekend. How have you all been? I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. Even though I posted a vlog that was like really overdue. And they're always like clips that I throw in together. I never like actively vlog with the intention of vlogging. But I do really enjoy vlogging and I miss vlogging. Sorry, I had to switch rooms for better lighting. So I'm gonna start vlogging again, 10 times the charm. No matter how boring or eventful my days went, I'm gonna try to vlog it because this is my real authentic life. I wanted to pop in here to talk about Dossier. I am collaborating with Dossier again. I made a video about Dossier a few months ago. I will link it in the cards above and in the description box down below if you wanna check it out. So the scent I showed you last time was Floral Musk. This is inspired by Lancome's Edel, which I thought was really similar, but I thought the Lancome one was a little bit sweeter. And I got two new scents to show you all. If you haven't heard of Dossier before, they are a fragrance company whose goal is to make premium fragrances accessible and affordable. So cutting out fancy packaging with a luxury brand slapped on it and the price markup, you can enjoy the same quality of fragrance at a fraction of the price. Dossier has a huge range of fragrances inspired by popular luxury perfumes such as Joe Malone, YSL, Dior, Tom Ford, Chanel, Victor & Rolf, Gucci, etc. With each fragrance, they show you the top notes, middle notes, and base notes. They have 15 unique olfactive scent families including citrus, floral, fougere, fruity, gourmand, green, musky. If you're unsure of which scent is right for you, they do have a quiz where you answer six questions and they'll help you find the perfect fragrance. Trying out Dossier is 100% risk-free. You can order up to five cents at a time. Shipping is always free for three bottles or more. All orders are always risk-free and returnable. Some orders may come with a two millimeter sample, but they're starting to cut out samples to reduce the use of plastic. You can still test out the full size bottle and try each fragrance before making any commitment. You can return any bottles you choose not to keep within 30 days, no questions asked. Dossier follows strict US and UE cosmetic safety recommendations when formulating their products, which are ethical, sustainable, and sourced from the highest quality ingredients. Their vegan and eco-friendly fragrances are 100% non-toxic and cruelty-free. As for shipping, they use recyclable, environmentally friendly materials for their packaging. I feel like once I started using Dossier, I learned more about scents and fragrances. It's become a little easier to describe different scents and to figure out which scents I usually go for. So the first one is musky green tea. This has top notes of green tea, bergamot, mandarin, middle notes of petit gras, neroli, black currant, base notes of musk, sandalwood, and orris. I mentioned how I wanted to try this one in the last video and I finally got it. This is based on Creed's Silver Mountain Water, which retails for $320, which I think is crazy, but the scent is so nice. It's like similar to a cologne, which I personally like, and it's definitely a unisex scent, no matter your gender identification. The second set I got is Fruity Magnolia. This is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal, which I do have right here. This is one of my favorite scents. I use this very sparingly and like save it for special occasions. So I wanted to double up on the scent, and it's mind-blowing how similar Fruity Magnolia is to Versace's Bright Crystal. So this has top notes of pomegranate, yuzu, aquatic accord, middle notes of magnolia, peony, and rose, and base notes of amber, musk, and a kojo wood. If you'd like to try out Dossier, you can use my code 10 Shirley for 10% off your purchase. So I just finished getting ready to go Christmas shopping, and I'm actually going to layer these two. This is what I've been doing recently, and I'm just in love with how the scent turns out. Yes, all that floral goodness. And musky green tea. Went to Best Buy and got a camera bag for my new camera.
7 30 a.m on a sunday don't mind me i have these eye patches to depuff my eyes it is not a typical sunday i'm actually working overtime today so i'm about to head out and i thought i would take you guys along with me i don't work from home i work in a lab so we're required to be on site and they really stress patient confidentiality so if there's not a lot of footage from work today that's why i'm going to take these off i really like these because they help to really moisturize the under eye and just bring more life to that area if anyone's interested i'll link it down below so now i'm gonna head out so they provided breakfast slash lunch and i got the bacon and avocado taco it's a flour tortilla with bacon egg and cheese and avocado and potatoes on the side and some salsa pretty hungry and honestly very low energy because I didn't get that much sleep last night. I put the avocado into the taco because it's like out of the taco. Ooh. Mm. It's kind of like a breakfast burrito but less soft. And then I have my pumpkin cold brew. If anyone's curious, this is the Keep Cup. I got a custom lid because I wanted this color combination. And, whoa, sorry y'all. I do not have a tripod right now. And I love the way it looks. It brings me a lot of joy whenever I use it. It's environmentally friendly, BPA free. And yeah, I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Also, the coffee concentrate I was using earlier is from Javi Coffee. I'm actually testing out their product and I will talk about it in a future video. We're already four hours in two more hours to go. And like I said, I won't film in the lab because of confidentiality. So I hope you all understand. everyone sorry for this weird angle and if i look like this i'm gonna look like this in a lot of my vlogs so just a disclaimer that i only wear makeup like 20 percent of the time but i just got some packages in the mail from amazon and i thought i would unbox it i do have a box cutter this time i literally open the scissors like this and use one blade to open packages some of y'all were concerned so i have a proper box cutter this time So exciting, a lot of air. Here's a USB type C cable. And this is a portable monitor. Oh my God. Alvin got this for me for Christmas as like a second vertical monitor. Oh my God, so excited. We'll need to get a monitor arm for it. So we can't put it up yet, but. Finally unboxing the monitor. 